Welcome back to another exciting episode of Flag Down. Today, as you've seen in the the title, is Middle Eastern flags. So we're going to start off with one that, if you watched the previous video, you'll have seen this one: the flag of Egypt. Now, I personally disagree with Egypt being considered part of the Middle East as it's in Africa and not in Asia. However, pretty much everyone else says it's part of the Middle East. So, the official name of this, of Egypt, is the Arab Republic of Egypt, and this flag was adopted by the law number 144 of 1984 on October 4th, 1984. The, this uh, eagle in the middle is the Eagle of Saladin, for those that did not watch the previous video. Okay, now, it's the next flag. Oh, oh, look at that. The, I want to point out that in this video you're going to see all these, because when you have a white, white portion of a flag, it's very see-through. And if I didn't have this here, you would have seen that lettering sticking out underneath the flag of Egypt. This is the flag of the Republic of Iraq. This is called Kufic script and it stands for, it translates into English as God is the greatest. Because this is a religious reference, it's essentially holy scripture, therefore it is not allowed to be put down as, uh, you're not allowed to fly this flag at half-mast, which is halfway down the pole. Uh, and this flag was adopted on January 22nd, 2008. To the next flag. Alright. But the, uh, okay, the camera can, uh, has picked up what this is. This is a perfect example of what I was talking about before. You can see the paper underneath because this flag is so translucent that if I did have this, you would see an additional flag. It would be confusing to some people if they've never seen this flag, which is known as the flag of Zion. And it's for the country known as the State of Israel. This was also adopted on October 28th, 1948. Okay, so now, now we go through the next flag. Because, like Rob said, because of all the green, you would have seen it right through the other flag. This is the flag of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. This, oh, first off, this saber always has to point to the left. Basically, that a, it's always. It's always, the idea is that the left is evil, the right is good, so the, the sword point is always facing evil, and it's always being held by the, by someone good on the right. Now, this is called the Shahada, and it means, uh, I would like to point to the words, but I can't, I don't know how to read this personally, I just know what it's, it translates to, so I can't exactly point to, to it, but there is no God. But God, Muhammad is the messenger of God. And the Shahada must be manufactured to read correctly on both sides of this flag. And anything else that's double sided, you can't have this backwards. Anything religious that is backwards, therefore, is, is satanic. And I can tell you that this flag is not printed the correct way to Saudi standards when you this is the the front of a flag is called the obverse the rear of the flag which would be this part is called the reverse so in this particular flag that I, we have that I have in front of you and in front of the camera that you're looking at when you flip this backwards flip it to the reverse side this holy scripture is now backwards so if for some reason I have been in Saudi Arabia and was flying this, oh, they probably shot me. 
They probably would have shot me, they probably would have lynched me uh, and burned this thing as being uh, blasphemous because the back of it, it's not, it's not made correctly. They are very strict about this stuff. And because this is considered a holy, it, the flag is considered a holy object because of the Shahada, it's not allowed to be on merchandise at all. It's also because of the holy object, it's not allowed to be at half mast. Now, FIFA had decided they wanted to put this flag on the football, on the soccer ball, or football, depending on what country you're from. They got pissed. They were so outraged. The fact that another country wanted to put this on a ball so that you could kick it. Because the concept there is that this is, is religious scripture. Anytime your foot kicks the ball, you're kicking religious scripture. And even as I'm not Islamic, I, I'm not, I don't practice Islam, but I believe in God, and I understand that that is an, a really messed up thing to do. That completely was a bad, bad idea on FIFA's, on their behalf. That if, if this, if it was a, a Christian thing, I would be pissed that people are kicking, kicking a ball that has the cross on it, you know, or like Jesus' face. It's something sacred. Don't f with it. So you know. Now I know for that tyrant. That's the next one. And the big reveal. This is the flag of the Syrian Arab Republic. Now, it was originally used by the United Arab Republic, which consisted of Egypt and Syria. That's what the two stars represent. And that was from 1958 to 1961. That basically fell apart because they couldn't decide who should be in charge. But then they went to a different flag in the 1980. This came back as the national flag. Now their big problem with this particular flag is in 2000, 2011 Syria fell into a civil war. In 2012 each side made their brand new flag for the country that they're supposed to be in charge of. So technically this is not the Syrian flag but technically it is because the other two aren't officially adopted yet and that this is recognized by the United Nations the other two are not recognized by the United Nations as being official national flags. So this is the basically the best I can get with a Syrian flag because I'm not well versed on what exactly is going on there, so I don't know. I don't want to buy one flag and find out it was a terrorist group. So this is as close as I'm getting to the, the current one until that war is finished, which hopefully it wraps up soon. Alright, to the last one. No, it is not a communist flag. It's the flag of Turkey, officially known as the Republic of Turkey. This particular flag, flag was adopted as a naval, a naval jack in 1794 by the Ottoman Empire. Then it was adopted as the Ottoman Empire's flag in 1844. Of course, the Ottoman Empire collapsed. Turkey adopts this basically by default as their national flag. On October 29th, 1923, when Turkey became the republic, became a republic, they adopted this as their flag. In 1936, that's when they decided to make regulations on it and um, standardize the flag because this could have been, this flag may have been a huge mess. Or it could have been not so bad, whereas it was just basically different shades of red. I mean, that's a very big thing. But anyway, they also could have had the star over here if they felt like it because there was no legal standardization. But, like I said, 1936, they standardized it, and this has been the flag of Turkey since the, 20th, the 20s, and it turns out that October 29th is actually Republic Day in Turkey and in Northern Cyprus, which is also known as the Turkish Republic of Cyprus. So... That could be why they, they do it in that country, or that nation. Um, and that's it for this one. So that's, that is that. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. 
you got any comments, put them in the description. Uh, not put comments in the description. If you got any comments, put them down in the comment section. Questions, uh, statements, tell me, you know, the usual. If you like any of the flags, let me know. If you didn't like them, let me know. If, if you're, if you agree with me that Egypt is not part of the Middle East, tell me. Or if you have an explanation of why exactly it is considered to be the Middle East, you can put that down there too. You can also follow me on Twitter, as you're not surprised. You also help the channel financially at Patreon. Who knows if that'll work? Um, I'm also on Instagram. Again, as you're not surprised. And if you haven't, please subscribe because it really helps this channel. And that is it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.